Welcome to our next video. Here we are going to show you the features of our distinct oscillators. Let's start with the Laplace Cloud Oscillator. First, we open the settings menu. Again, we tried to keep everything as simple as possible to guarantee an easy experience for all users. At the top, you can activate or deactivate the printing of each indicator. The blue shaded line shows the Laplace line. The brighter its color, the more volume has occurred in recent price action. Harness the Laplace line to predict potential market shifts before they unfold. If you spot the general direction points to the upside, chances are higher pump is about to follow. As higher bottoms indicate possible price movements to the upside, lower tops forewarn of potential drops. Next, we are going to activate the Laplace cloud. It works similar to the on-chart version, but does not take price as much into account. Therefore, it prints smoother and might help you get a clearer overview of the market structure. If you turn on the Sigma line, an additional oscillator will occur. This orange line is also used to find higher bottoms and lower tops. You can adjust its smoothness to your needs. A lower value will print more spikes and hereby the possibility to catch smaller movements, while a higher number will get a better indication of the general direction of the market. Be careful with increasing the value too much as it can lead to lagging and confusing signals. And the next checkbox, you can turn on these red and green arrows to help you identify higher bottoms and lower tops on the Laplace cloud. Last but not least, you can turn on the primary and secondary support and resistance lines for the Laplace cloud. Breaks of these lines are also strong indications of the next move in the charts. Let's switch over now to the Neural Cloud and open up the settings again. The Neural Cloud oscillator works similar to the on-chart version, but again, here we have less of the recent price action in our calculation, which makes it overall smoother. At the top, you can adjust the smoothness of this oscillator. Lower values will generate more tops and bottoms, while higher numbers will flatten these out. Adjusting the length strongly changes its appearance. The higher the value, the more of past candles are taken into account, and therefore printing an overall bigger picture. But yet again, it can delay signals if this value is set too high. The checkbox activates trend lines that connect the latest tops and bottoms. Breaks of these trend lines can indicate reversals, while bounces off these lines may indicate continuation of the trend. You can choose whether you want to use the slow setting for connecting the smoother tops and bottoms, or the fast setting for using the more agile part of this oscillator. This feature can be very helpful, but it is recommended to draw your own trend lines for even better outcomes. Now that you have an overview of our indicators, it is time to learn how to properly use them. In the next videos, we will show examples of how to use the indicators by themselves, but also how to combine their features to unleash the full potential of these groundbreaking tools. See you there.